So today, we're gonna to be talking about my favorite air coolers going into June of 2021. And not only that, we are also going to discuss which CPU cooler I would recommend based on which CPU you have or are planning to get. Of course, this is completely my opinion that I've built based on the experience I have with these particular coolers. And you know, there are a ton of coolers out there, so I'm sure I've missed a few gems. If your favorite didn't make the list, be sure to drop it in the comments below so I can add it to my list and potentially check it out here in the future. Also, if while you're watching this video, you see anything that you might wanna pick up, I am going to be leaving links to everything I discussed today down in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out down there. So to make this easy, I'm going to first go over my favorite cooler based on three categories, favorite budget, favorite RGB, and then favorites all arounder. I'm then gonna go dive a little bit deeper. And I'm gonna focus on which cooler I think you should get for a six core CPU or an eight slash 12 core CPU. This video won't have any suggestions for a 16 core CPU though, as I haven't dove into like the higher end liquid coolers and I don't even have a 16 core chip to test right now. So I really don't wanna lead you guys astray. And again, I'm only talking air coolers today. So no liquid coolers at all. So keep that in mind while we go through this list. Let's start with my favorite budget CPU cooler because I listed it first in the list I just mentioned a moment ago. So for this category, I have to go with the Vitro V5 or the Arctic Freezer 13X. While the Vitro V5 MSRP is for around $35, we often see it on sale for just 25 bucks. And for that price, this cooler is an absolute absolute no brainer if you need a cheap, good performing CPU cooler. It certainly doesn't have the best fan available. It's kind of loud and it's not the highest quality cooler I've tested when it actually comes to like how it feels, but it has an incredible performance for that $25 price tag. And it's absolutely the best price to performance cooler out there currently on the market, hands down. Now, since the $25 price tag is technically a sale price, I also wanted to give the Freezer 13X an honorable mention here as its MSRP is actually 27 bucks. And this cooler actually sells for $27. This cooler has the second best price to performance ratio in my testing, and it's another great budget cooler that should be on your list if you need a cheap option. The third heat pipe on it really helps separate itself from its younger brother, the 7X, especially when you get into the higher wattage chips. Moving on to my favorite RGB CPU cooler, and I haven't really tested a whole ton, so my sample size is kind of limited here, but in any case, currently my favorite RGB cooler is the Enermax ETS F40 ARGB. Now it's not the cheapest cooler out there coming in with an MSRP of 50 bucks, but for that price tag, you get an incredibly good looking ARGB cooler that provides some of the best air cooling capabilities currently available. In my testing, not only was it super quiet across the board from zero RPM to 100% RPM, it was also right there next to the best coolers I've tested when it comes down to just cooling performance in general. And to round out my favorites, my favorite all around CPU cooler would have to be a tie between the Arctic Freezer 34 Esports Duo and the Enermax ETS F40 ARGB, which of course I just mentioned. Both are priced at that $50 price point and both have great cooling performance in my testing. The pure cooling performance advantage goes to the Freezer 34 Esports Duo as you'll get a little bit better performance there. But when taking into account like acoustics, and just the general look comes down to RGB, that kind of stuff. I think the advantage goes to the ETS F40 ARGB, at least in my book. Either one is gonna be a great buy in my eyes and you really can't go wrong with either one. So now the question shifts to what cooler would I buy for CPU X, Y, or Z? And of course, this is a very subjective question, but I'm gonna try to answer it the best I can. So in all cases, I always recommend buying the best cooler you can afford or the best CPU you can afford or the best GPU you can afford or the best whatever you can afford. And so the answers I give you right now are gonna take a stance as you have no plans to upgrade in your CPU and you are looking for the best bang for buck CPU cooler. So if you have a six core chip, I'd go with the Vitro V5 if it's selling for $25. If it's not, I'd go for the ID Cooling SC224 XT as it typically goes for $35 and it actually does outperform the V5. Both coolers do come in a RGB version. So if you want RGB, they both have a version like that. So that's not an issue, but both also have a pretty loud fan. So I would highly suggest modifying their fan curves a little bit so that it's not as loud and it's more reasonable for most you know scenarios, especially if you have like a Ryzen 3000 or a Ryzen 5000 CPU, because it typically runs up and down even when you're doing idle tasks or like, like low power tasks, just because of how the chips are made. Now, if you have an eight or 12 core chip, I could see either of those two working for you, but I would also suggest, and I'd more so suggest grabbing the Arctic Freezer 34 Esports Duo, the Enermax ETS F40 ARGB, or the ID Cooling SE224 XT, which of course is one of the two I recommended, but I would you know recommend 
recommend that one over the Beatro V5 in this scenario. These are gonna provide you with the most headroom for these hotter chips, which is something you definitely want, especially again, if you have the latest Ryzen CPU. And so let me know what coolers you guys find to be your favorites and which coolers you'd like me to test in the future. I literally have an Amazon wish list full of coolers that I'm going to start picking up and I wanna make sure that your guys' favorites are on that list, so I'm testing them out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my list down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.